There's not a performative process as such, um, but the way in which I work is um, quite physical, or if anybody saw it, they probably would consider it to be quite dramatic. The only person I ever sees is me. <laughs> um, because I'm on my own if I'm painting, but um, it's, uh, it's just a process that seems to work for me. What I do is I, I try to paint very quickly because I'm trying to um, record the moment in, 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 in life that, that I'm working in. And uh, every time I paint, I paint the whole surface. So what you see is, is what happens during that session. And that could be done two or three times a day. So every painting would be completely changed two or three times a day. But with any of these paintings that are here, they have all looked completely different, like from yellow to black or red or whatever, um, you know, in, in their lives. In the end, some of that does show through. Um, I think there's traces of it here and there. In this show, there's a, a lot of the work's been done this year, and a lot of the work has been done since I did a, a residency in China, July of last year, 2011. And uh, that was in a very remote place in the mountains, in these uh, Chinese mountains that, that you see in uh, uh, Chinese ink paintings and they were shrouded in mist often so much that um, I couldn't even really see the mountains but for that period of time for that three weeks I, I'm not a landscape painter really but I, I tried to paint those mountains at that, at that time I didn't really like the work that I did very much I think I wasn't there long enough to, to get to grips with it but what I ended up with um, was some idea about light reflecting through mist because as I said, sometimes you couldn't even see the mountains at all. As soon as I mentioned that, I think most people think of Turner's Venice, but this was more misty than his Venice. In his Venice, you could see Venice. In these days, you couldn't see anything at all, just mist. So um, I, I mentioned that because that is um, some change that happened in the work and that relates to nature but again I'm not in any way trying to paint those mountains or nor am I trying to paint mist with light coming through it or anything exactly like that but just some um, reference to some kind of something in the real world. But the thing that people talk about a lot is thick paint. I'm not really that interested in thick paint it, it just happens because of my process of working. Uh, if my paintings turned out with thin paint somehow it wouldn't bother me. It, it's, it's just how the paint looks, not because it's thick. Um, the thing that I would like people to be interested in more than just a thick paint is kind of what the essence of the paintings are about. I, what I'm trying to do, what I spent all my time trying to do in the paintings is to, I, um, to drag something out of myself that I think um, reveals something about, about the human race, about us as people. Um, I think that um, people say my paintings are aggressive or violent. I don't really think they are, but I guess I can see why they say that. Other people say they're beautiful and sensitive. So I think that there's all those elements in, in my work, in, in this work anyway. And I think that that, for example, is like what life's like. Life, life's a struggle for probably most people. There's a struggle in these paintings, but through that struggle to achieve something, um, to bring something into the world. Um, and uh, I, I, I think that that's sort of what I'm trying to do in the work. I think that's the important thing in the work, not with thick paint. Maybe next time I do a show, it'll be thin paint, just to piss everybody off. <laughs>